Well, in the various segments of this, your being a God, you've been hearing me yak away about this and give my thoughts and opinions. And I thought you might like to hear as well God speaking of this too. And so I thought to read to you some segments out of the foot ladder of Notes Divine in which God addresses the issue of our godliness. And I want to start with the joyful stuff that he says that you're going to be able to entertain. And in this one that I'm reading, just listen to the language that God uses. And again, I'm dropping seeds with you. Remember, Jesus could not fulfill the aspect of the individual feeling inside themselves, what Jesus was talking about. That had to go to the Holy Spirit after Jesus was gone. But listen now to our God of unconditional love talking about what he brings to you or she, because as you know from some of the other verses that God has been pointed out to me as both male and female, both Jesus and Mary, his mother, as Mother God. So here we go on some of these statements out of the foot ladder about this. He's going to tell us what it's going to be like. Midst gladness reign amidst of me. Made joyful in moments of glee. Made mine in ever heart one. Made mine for joyful dance made mine to swirl and swing. That's a good one for me, by the way. I can't dance a step. Made mine for gilded wing, midst beating hearts, made one, made one. Hard to believe, isn't it? These are the things, though, that are being told to you, to uphold you, that you are going to be in a state of gladness, in a state of joyfulness, because you're feeling you are one with God, ever heart one, ever heart one, for all eternity, one with God, feeling and living everything the way God feels it. No problems, no worries. That's when you feel the presence of God, when it's, re when it's revealed to you. You can feel, well, there's nothing inside me. And you're right, because there's no conflicts when you feel it. And the human mind says, see, nothing. Look at that. You went to God, nothing there. And in actuality, the nothingness is the absence of problems. You moved into a new mind, the mind of God, where everything is resolved. And you are able to handle everything that comes up in this world until you leave it as a servant of God made mine and never heart one. And then off he goes with joyful dancing, swirling and swinging and gilded wings and beating hearts made one. You like it? Yeah, I know it's hard to believe this stuff, but that's what it's going to be. And this encourages you to go in that kind of direction. Well, I'm going to give you another one, which which goes along in the same pattern as this one. You ready for this? <clears throat> Holy art thou, eternal Son. There it goes. God's talking to you about the truth of you. Holy art thou, eternal Son, of heart and whole being. You have a holy heart, and your whole being is holy. Of holiness made a living being. Notice the use of the word living. Of holiness made a living being. Now remember again, let's go back to scripture. Life is in the spirit. The body or the flesh is nothing. Life is related to the spirit part of you, not to the human part of you. And here goes the repetition of that. 
Jesus gets repetitious too, or if it's Mary who's talking this, or the both of them, because they're one with each other also, it's coming out. Now I'll repeat it again. Holy art thou, eternal Son, of heart and whole being, of holiness made a living being, made of me in eternal love, moved to let loose in life above. This world is not the life above. This world is not life. This world is an experience, but it is not life. I'll read it again to you in order to help you get through this. Holy art thou, eternal Son, that's life, of heart and whole being. You are holy of your heart and your whole being, of holiness made a living being. The living being is your soul. Made of me in eternal love. Nothing can change it. Can't destroy it. Nobody can take away from you how God made you because nobody's got the power to do it. God's the ultimate power. You can't overthrow God. You can play a game but thinking you can, but you can't. Made of me in eternal love, moved to let loose in the life, there's that word life, above. Is it touching you? Can you sense it? Well, you know, you can find these verses too. You only have to type in. Holy art thou eternal son, and zoot, you find it. I told that's the way computers work. I tried it with my manual typewriter, it didn't work, but they say it works on computers. Goes forward. Let thy heart flow in circles beyond made for thee. Let your heart flow. Give yourself over into these circles that are made for thee. Let loose thy mind for richness above, made not for squander midst morass. There's God talking about this world, and you can recognize the morass that this world is in, as it's not built on love. It's built on taking advantage, using others to make yourself feel good. Make of thee thy kingdom home midst of me, dear God. I choose to be able to let you have me. I choose to want you as me. I choose to be able to abandon who I think I am in order to be able to experience who you know me to be. I want it, love. I want it. I want it. I want it because you've shown me. And I get peace when I go there. Nothing's bothering me. I feel so confident, self-assured of worth, of the desire to just plain be helpful to others, knowing that I'm letting you loose to me. I want it. I don't have any worries anymore, no self-doubts, no judgments about how I'm doing. It's all gone. You know what you're doing through me. I want it. I want it. I want it. This is what you're hearing in this stuff and how to be able to get there. Again, make of me, this God is now telling you this, make of me thy servant true. Do you hear that? God wants you to be a servant. God wants God to be your servant. Usually we think of it as the opposite, God, please let me serve you, but God's going the opposite direction. God saying, let me be your servant true midst melee and strife not meant to be. You're not meant to live in this world with all the suffering. You're not meant for it. And he winds up, make home of me, my tender love. How do you like being called my tender love? There's God's judgment. Your tender love, despite all the mess that we're in. God knows it's just lostness. Make home of me, my tender love. Make home of me, beloved, beloved. Oh, make home of me. Sweet stuff, isn't it? Yeah.